Welcome back. On August 27th, a significant event took place, the launch of the report by the high-level panel of experts on Africa and the reform of the multilateral system, focusing on the summit of the future and beyond. This panel, a collaborative effort between Namibia and Amani Africa, brings together esteemed experts to address the critical need for reform within the multilateral system, ensuring it is more equitable, effective and responsive to the needs of African nations and the global community. The report is expected to provide comprehensive insight and actionable recommendations on how to strengthen international cooperation, enhance global governance and align multilateral institutions with the evolving channel, cha challenges pardon me, of the 21st century. Now, This launch marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing dialogue about the future of global governance and its importance and impact on Africa. Joining us is Ambassador Jerobiam Shanika, Deputy Executive Director, Multilateral Relations at the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation. So good evening and welcome. Thank you so much for joining Hello, us. Hello, good evening, Nina, and good evening to the viewers. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank to you for having me. To begin with, can you provide just an overview for us of the high-level panel of experts on Africa and the reform of uh, the multilateral system, which we'll be discussing tonight, and what the primary mandate um, of this panel is? Well, the panel of, <coughs> or high-level panel, uh, on the reform of uh, multilateral system, it is an initiative of Amani Africa, which is a a think tank with a working relation with the African Union. And they are harnessing the knowledge of diplomat and expert on the field to say, we have this talent. How do we put it to the best use for the benefit of Africa? And there are critical questions that the panel will uh, examine to find the answer and perhaps to make recommendations. Now, what, 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 what happened was uh, last year on the margin of the uh, African Union Assembly, they approached uh, then Deputy Prime Minister, uh, then Honorable Netumbo Nadi Daitwa, who is now the Vice President of the Republic of Namibia. And because that time she was uh, the minister, uh, concurrently deputy prime minister and minister mm -hmm. of international relations. And then they brought this idea and of course she came to cabinet and sought approval and the approval was granted mm -hmm. uh, for her to become a patron. Then the panel uh, then undertake or undertook a responsibility to uh, come up with a report on how the identifying issues and find kind of suggested solution of how the multilateral system can be reformed. Mm -hmm. Because we are talking of the multilateral system that is particularly the current one was came with the formation of the United Nations in 1945. And there has been uh, cosmetic uh, reform, but those reforms, they are not adequately or not even uh, uh, speaking to the needs of Africa. So this panel was then uh, having that task to look at the needs and where those needs can be applied to. On that note, what were some of the main findings and recommendations of this report, particularly um, in relation to the summit of the future and beyond? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I think the main finding is that the multilateral system is in need of reform, mm -hmm. uh, particularly when you look at the geopolitical tension that are occurring uh, around the world. So those are crying for the reform because some of these geopoliticals are at the heart of what is going on. And the question is, are we all having the same stake in the world or in the international order? So the international order must speak to uh, each and everyone. Now, we also look into the uh, global or, or international financial uh, system. 
other mechanisms that are put up by the international financial architecture speaking to the needs of the countries of the south particularly of africa mm -hmm. and then another question how do we see that african aspirations particularly the um, flagship of african union are embraced by the international community mm -hmm. and they understand that africa is also deciding its own uh, future and that also need to be respected. Then, of course, there are also questions around the Africa's membership in the G20. Mm -hmm. How can Africa utilize its membership to, for the benefit of the Africa and its people? Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it is not just a continent as a space, but the people who live in, they must ensure that the Africa, which or the aspiration of Africa reach them and they are able to identify with those aspirations. So, so what happens now? What steps you know, will be taken to implement uh, these recommendations that have come from the report, sir? The, 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 the recommendations are there. They will be presented to the uh, African group in New York uh, on the margin of the Summit for the Future and the United Nations General Assembly, uh, the, se the 79th session. Uh, of course, it's to say the global governance architect has to be reformed, uh, particularly the Security Council, mm -hmm. which is making uh, a peace and uh, security the decision. We also need to uh, reform the financial, uh, international financial architect so that it speaks to the needs of the uh, uh, less developed countries, mm -hmm. particularly in Africa, then we also need to take into consideration that the digital, uh, we are now moving toward the digitalization. Right. All the decisions that are being made, uh, even transaction is carried out by digital. How are we prepared for this? Because uh, if the artificial intelligence is not honest to the best interest of, of us, it might, it has the, the potential to overwhelm us. Right. Because your identity uh, is at stake. Uh, there are cyber security issues. Mm -hmm. How well are we prepared for this? Mm -hmm. So all those are recommendations that for Africa to see the moment, uh, it need to harness those. And of course, the issue of um, youth uh, and their innovative spirit uh, whatever fields is also need to be taken into consideration. Mm -hmm. uh, those are some of, I mean, the list is long. I can sit here with you, we can write thesis after thesis. Uh, but of course, those are some of the critical issues that really we need to look at so that the place of Africa uh, will be able to uh, achieve most of, it, of, of, of its development objective. As you right, know, right. Africa is a continent rich in mineral resources. And it's, yeah, one of the recommendations is also for the uh, value additions. Mm -hmm. Because most of the raw material in Africa is taken out in raw form and returned back as finished product mm -hmm. at more higher price than even the African could mm -hmm. afford. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think these are some of the things we say let us, as we move beyond the summit for the future, what future do we want to see? If we are, the leaders are going to, to, to meet in September, and they are coming up with a pact of the future. Mm -hmm. So that pact, it must contain actionable, yeah. actionable uh, 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 plan that, or points that the people of the world can seize on and they can identify them. We are talking of the youth. The youth must find uh, their space. Right. And they will be able to uh, identify themselves with the, the pack of the future on the topic that are speaking to, 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 to them. And how are we going to move then into that world that is a digital space? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are we all prepared? 
just lastly, before I let you go, what a message perhaps would you like to convey uh, to the global community, particularly to African leaders and as well as stakeholders regarding the importance and the urgency of reforming uh, the multilateral system? No, no, I think the, the, the panel has really, uh, under the leadership of Her Excellency, um, uh, Dr. Netumbo Nandi Daitwa, who has graciously agreed to remain a patron. Uh, I, I think the message is that uh, there is a, an Africans who want to uh, utilize their talent for the benefit of the continent, right. and they are not. They are doing this free of charge uh, to see to it that. Africa that our children uh, are hoping to grow on uh, is an Africa that take care of itself. And I think we should have faith in our, on the, in the skill of uh, the expert because they can also inspire other experts to come on board and to uh, bring up or to look into solution that m will make uh, our continent a great place for each and, every, uh, each and every one of us to live in. Ambassador Shanika, we are eagerly looking forward to the summit of the future and beyond when it comes in September. I think we'll have you back for further discussions on that. So as well. I will, I'm at your disposal <laughs> and I'm, I will be able to give you uh, whatever within my limited knowledge <laughs> <laughs> that I can give. Thank you so much for your time thank, this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me and thank you for the, the viewers. When we come back, our conversations here on the Daily Roundup continue. Stay with us.